So before we discuss the answer for number three, I would like to remind us about the rule, the trigonometric rule, that if you have a line A, it has a corresponding opposite angle, small letter A, and B with a opposite angle B. If line A is greater than B, then angle A is greater than angle B. Or if line A is smaller than line B, the angle A is less than the angle B. So remember the opposite of it. A 10-pound object is suspended by a string from an overhead support. A horizontal force of 5.8 pounds is applied on the object. The measure of the angle which the string makes with the horizontal is. So we are looking for the angle on the horizontal. Remember, the alpha here is the angle for the vertical, with respect to the vertical. While the green ones, the theta here, is the one that we're looking for. The theta is the angle with respect to the horizontal, and that is what we're looking for. Now, now that is the same with this angle. So this angle is equal to the angle with respect to the horizontal. Let's make a proper drawing of this one, and let's make a right triangle. A right triangle with a legs of 10 and a base of 5.8 with 90 degrees and the angle theta here, which is the one that we're looking for. Now, using what we've discussed earlier, we know that Letter B is not the answer because this only works if you have an isosceles triangle. That means the legs are equal. Letter D is also not the answer because 90 degrees refers to the hypotenuse. So it's not the answer. So we are left with letter C and letter A. Now the best answer here for theta will be the 60 degrees. Because 10 is longer, that means it should have a greater angle. And that is, theta should be equal to, to 60 degrees. Remember, in a right triangle, we have 90 degrees. Yeah, so this would be like 60 degrees. But remember, we have 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and the smaller one should be 30 degrees. So the best answer there is 60. I think letter A is the one in the answer T, so 30 degrees, but that refers to the angle with respect to the vertical, not the horizontal. So that should not be the answer. The answer should be letter C. If you want to know the answer here, you can use tangent theta, opposite divided by the adjacent, and that is the opposite of the angle is 10, and the adjacent is 5.8. You can use theta, tangent, arc tangent, 10 divided by 5.8, and that will result to 59, 59 degrees, or nearly 60 degrees. So the answer using trigonometry here is 59 or simply 60 degrees, letter C.